Boston Studios. The Happy Day Sports Desk starts now. Today marks the first day of spring football camp for the Idaho Vandals. They got going bright and early this morning at 6.45 a.m. right outside the Kibbe Dome. The Vandals return eight starters on offense and six starters on the defensive side of the ball. Now the 2022 fall camp, there were some question marks regarding the QB1 position, but fast forward to this year's spring ball and they certainly have their guy. Quarterback Giovanni McCoy is back with the Vandals going into his sophomore year after winning the Jerry Rice Award this past season. Now, other notable returners include wide receivers Hayden Hatton and Jermaine Jackson. And it's not just the players returning, the axe is also back as well. Head coach Jason Eck gives out the axe to a player after every practice, and today it was Matthias Bertram. Here's Coach Eck on today's spring practice and McCoy's development. I think our team's working well together. You know, we, we still, we constantly talk about championship behavior and uh, doing things the right way. I think there's still a few things in practice we got to do a better job of. You know, today when we don't have shoulder pads on, we got to do a better job of staying on our feet. Quarterback is such a position that you look to as, as a leader of the team in that leadership position. And, you know, when you're a freshman, you don't really want to put a lot of uh, pressure on those guys to, you know, have leadership as well. But that's an area I'd like to see him grow. The Idaho football season is just 50 days from now, and head coach Jason Eck told me some things are just greater than football. Well, that rings true for head coach Jason Eck and safety Matthias Bertram, who were nominated for the AFCA All-State Good Works team for their service and dedication off the field. Being recognized is something that, you know, I, I really didn't see this coming, so it's very exciting. Matthias Bertram is representing the Vandals on a national stage for making a difference in the world. He's also been putting in the work in the offseason, so much so that Coach Eck took notice, rewarding him the axe at the end of the Vandals' first spring football practice. Very proud of him, and he's been a very good player for us. He's been a starter and, uh, all last year, and uh, counting on him to have a really good uh, year for us here as well. Now the safety is giving back, going the extra mile to serve those in need had the opportunity for a week to go down to Peru. It was transformative seeing the children there who, you know, they don't have a whole lot like us in America, but just the love that they had and the joy that they had and just being able to, to play with them and spend time with them um, was something that I'll never forget. As for Coach Eck, he serves as a council member for the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation. I became our team liaison and just became very important to me and I think it's something that uh, really makes a difference and uh, I brought that here to Idaho and last year we had the, the largest drive of any new Division I school in the country. Both are making an impact in different ways, but they agree that it's just as important to make a difference off the field as it is on. I spent uh, every St. Patrick's Day, they, they put on a, what they called the Brother Matthias St. Patrick's Day corned beef and cabbage dinner. So we always serve there. We have a saying that we use around our, with our players, you know, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So you know, I want our players to uh, you know, not only be good football players, but do great in the classroom, be, do a great job in the community representing our program. Bertram is one of two Big Sky Conference nominees, while Coach Eck is the lone coach representing in the Big Sky Conference. Reporting in Moscow, Gianna Cephalou, KLEW Sports.